हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू क्विक लर्निंग बाइट प्रोग्राम ऑर्थोपेडिक्स फ्रॉम डॉक्टर ट्यूटोरियल्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट व्हाट इज़ अ डिफरेंट नेम गिवन टू अ क्लॉ हैंड नाउ ऑल ऑफ यू आर अवेयर ऑफ व्हाट द क्लॉ हैंड डिफॉर्मिटी इज ऑल राइट सो हाउ हैव यू आइडेंटिफाइड अ क्लॉ हैंड डिफॉर्मिटी दैट देयर इज अ हाइपर एक्सटेंडेड मेडाकापोफेलेंजल जॉइंट एंड द फ्लेक्शन ऑफ इंटरफेलेंजल जॉइंट नाउ दिस क्लॉ हैंड डिफॉर्मिटी इज बिकॉज ऑफ अ नर्व इंजरी दैट इज अलनर नर्व विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर सप्लाइंग लंबराइकल्स एंड यू नो द फंक्शन ऑफ लंबराइकल इज द फ्लेक्शन ऑफ मेडाकापोफेलेंजल जॉइंट वाइल एक्सटेंशन ऑफ इंटरफेलेंजल जॉइंट सो वंस द लंबराइकल मसल इज नॉट फंक्शनल विच विच इज बिकॉज ऑफ द अलनर नर्व इंजरी एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ विच the hand takes the deformity in opposite direction which is extended metacarpophalangeal and flexed interphalangeal joint known by the name of claw hand so this is very much obvious you are all aware of this but what is the different name which is given to this claw hand deformity the other name for this claw hand deformity is intrinsic minus deformity why is it called by the name of intrinsic minus deformity because lumbrical is one set of intrinsic muscles all right so lumbricals are intrinsic muscles of the hand that is it is a set of muscle which is taking up the origin as well as are getting inserted within the confines of the hand so if this set of muscle is inactive the hand get or will take the shape of a deformity and this deformity is because of lack of this set of intrinsic muscle that is the reason why it is called by the name of intrinsic minus deformity that this deformity is because of the lack of one set of intrinsic muscle that is lumbricals so in future there is a possibility that examiner can give you these funny options in order to confuse you and ask about that what the claw hand deformity is answer for that question is intrinsic minus deformity hope everything is clear related to this one all the best for your examination